For most of my life, I've had a miserable existence. I was born without a chance, and nobody dared help me. I was left to the only life I knew, and I cared not for others. An emotionless villain, a cold-hearted fiend. One might call me a victim of circumstance, but it's doubtful anyone would take the time to call me anything. I live life as the diabolical hair dude. Or I did. My jail sentence finally expired today, and I'm thrilled. Well, that's not true either. I have to go to therapy. So Rodney, could you tell me why you're here? I'm supposed to work through some of my villainous rage. What are you going to do without crime in your life? I might like to open up a beauty parlor. I strongly believe it's beneficial for everybody to have a passion. I don't know if I can make it. I believe in you. Do you believe in my salon? I do. By the way, why are you wearing rollerblades? I look kind of spiffy, don't I? Well, thanks for all the help. Business is going well. People seem to like my haircuts. There's this thing called lice, though. <laughs> what were you thinking? You could have all serious harm to this poor, innocent, simple-minded pedestrian. What do you have to say for yourself? Sorry, I guess? Sorry isn't going to cut it. Bloke. My name is not Bloke. You could have forced this poor, innocent, simple-minded pedestrian into a massive manhole. I hate to think the fate that would have befallen this man hadn't I been here. There's no manholes around here. Oh, there is. You don't mind the infrastructure much, do you? Uh, who, me? Not you. The bad guy. He's a menace to society. Did somebody say menace to society? Bishop, John Bishop, WXYZ News. Can the uh, hero here tell me what happened? Honestly, I'm not a hero. I did what anyone would have done. I was just in the right place at the right time. No, 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 no. Not, not the simple-minded pedestrian. This hatted gent man. Can you, uh, can you tell me what happened? Well, I'm not sure if I am a hero. But most importantly, I'm here to expose this man. He is the diabolical hair dude. Never heard of him. Oh, he's vile. And disgusted and appalled. In a stunning display of heroism, the superhero known as the Hatted Gent saved the simpleton from the evil clutches of the diabolical hair dude. Sources indicate the diabolical hair dude to be Rodney Guffrey. He was a salon on South Charles Street, and it is highly advised for no one to enter the, that salon, as it is assumed to be the man's evil lair. Really great stuff with the superheroes and whatnot. Now back to the music. It's the one you've all been requesting. Flummox's new hit single, Custodian Ralph. We all experience hard times. Rodney, I think this could be beneficial for you. How do you make it through? You've got to believe in something. I believe in vengeance. Is that good? Who am I kidding? That's great. Thanks for the help. I can't wait to crush the hatted jit with one of my brilliant schemes. Vengeance isn't particularly beneficial.
my elephant hat. Come to the salon if you ever want to see your hats again. Here, hair dude. Give me my hats! Why should I do that? Please! Give them back! I don't really have the hats here. They're hidden away indefinitely. The ransom note was just a plot to lure you to my lair. You monster! Now let's settle this like men. You mean like Superman? Whatever, Jethro. Now let our physical confrontation commence! Days of your villainy are over. Wake up. Oh, oh man. Oh, what just happened? You boys then knocked each other out. You don't say. Yeah. So does this mean that y'all two settled your differences? Why don't we just flip a coin and decide who wins? Okay, sounds good to me. All right. I'm really tired. Call it. Tails. Heads. Oh. Bet you're wondering why I arranged this meeting. Is this some kind of maniacal scheme? I just thought I'd return your hats. You know something? I always thought you'd change your way. <laughs> 